Sunday, April 16th, 2006. This is the Loose Ends Show number 35. Happy Easter. Or happy Easter. <laughs> happy day after tax day. That, yeah, right. Or for those of you that are really pushing it, happy day before tax day. Because I hear we get to wait till Monday or something. Oh, yeah, weird, really? Weird thing like that. Well, anyway, I'm Adele Sidock. And I'm Tom Sidock, and we have a very unusual show for you today. And hopefully you'll like it a lot because... We have a movie. We have a movie. We don't usually do movies, but we're going to do one today because... We can. It's, we can, and, <laughs> and it's it's hard to do what we're going to do without a movie. Yeah, it's true, because it would just be like a lot of noise. Yeah. So, what are we talking about? Day after tax day? Yeah, that's a um, lot of noise, but yeah. Um, day before tax day. Anyway, what we're going to do is tax related, but um, we're going to wait to tell you why it's tax related and first tell you that um, we've got a building. To, no, um, no longer. <laughs> well, that's true. And what you're looking at right now is not there anymore. It is the Hotel San Diego. Right, in San Diego, California. And we're downtown, or we're downtown, 19 floors above it, with a very, very prime vantage point oh yeah we were the envy of all this building by the way was built um by john d spreckles the spreckles theater and organ pavilion guy in balboa park also reminds me of sugar special spreckles sugar you it was betcha. built mm -mm. in built in 1914 so it was just a turn of the century victorian build and um he was i guess that mr spreckles was uh uh, built quite a legacy with several buildings that he sponsored uh, in San Diego, making it what it was, you know, a, a center of uh, trade and, and uh, entertainment and uh, growth. Many uh, uh, famous people are thought to have stayed here over the years, especially during the early theater days of San Diego. Um, the building you're looking at right now has been accused of being ugly, so they're yeah. not going to... Uh, try to save it but right. that was never on the table is the actual reason why they're going to demolish it right um it's going to be imploded guys who doesn't like to watch things blow up especially I've if they're big i've never seen this in person before I've this is seen... only the second time in san diego really yeah. yeah well i've never actually been there when something was actually imploded in person and uh well i mean i wasn't there in person when it was imploded and i've never seen it on the newsreel uh to the point where they showed everything after the dust cleared and the beginning of the cleanup and we've got the whole shenamigo here we've got the lead up we've got the big bang mm -hmm. and uh, we're just going to let it run and so you can see what happens afterwards right um, a lot of people thought the hotel was unsafe and the the current owners of the property and the building is the u.s government so they had uh they had total say over what was going to happen with this and even though there were historical um preservationists trying to you know save the building and and try to um uh, make it safe for earthquakes and stuff that they didn't win yeah architect wayne donaldson uh in 1999 he filed a report he's a well uh, thought of uh, architect here in town who um who said this thing's perfectly fine he's a structural engineer also right um when this thing goes um take a look at how hard it falls and uh, you decided if it would have survived an earthquake because right. I was pretty impressed with its ability to just uh, hold tight. Oh, I know it. They, what do they say? There's there's 900 holes drilled with uh, 200 pounds of dynamite and or explosives of one kind or another uh, for this seven-story structure to be to be raised, which you know means to get be rid of it. <laughs> actually lowered. Isn't that weird? What a weird weird word, raise. That's like, you know, put it up, not take it down, but... Uh, Back to the English language. It's I know. just so funny. So this 92-year-old hotel, part of history, is... Um, it's going to be a be federal today. courthouse. Yeah, it's going to be a federal courthouse, but today it's going to go down at 8.05 a.m. It's April 15th, 2006. Now, an interesting sidebar on this is... Um, 
the um, demolition company, uh, Patrick Kloss, um, picked April 15th yeah. as the day to demolish the building because Why? his property is now owned by the federal government. So he picked it because... Because it's right there next to our federal building, and this will soon, by 2010, be a new federal courthouse. Oh, so he, he's giving a gift to the citizens uh, of destroying this um, federally owned building, the old hotel. That is so cool. Let's on, go find another one. As a gift of, for for them because it, it'll be, it, what, the day after? Oh, on tax day. On tax day. That's right, because today is tax day. Techni technically, yeah. The 15th. So it's like a gift to them, you know, like blow up your taxes kind of thing. <laughs> I thought he was so cool to say that. That's really that's really wonderful. But um, anyway, so I, I, after watching it go down and as many explosions as I, um, as I heard, there's some argument, but I think uh, several hundred explosions. Anyway. I know. I, I thought, golly, gee, this thing has taken forever. I mean, we've watched these things before on TV. TV. And there's a little pause, a little hesitation. But all these buildings sort of start to fall within a couple of seconds. And this thing just stood. And then all of a sudden, it fell. And uh, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, it really quite, I, I had never thought it was quite a big deal for buildings to go down because I figured these guys like Klaus Construction, they know what they're doing. They get there, the building is blown up, bing, 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 it's down, big deal. Yeah, they did too. But it is a big deal. <laughs> it's quite amazing to watch this happen with buildings so close to the one that's being destroyed, not even get affected except for a little bit of dust. What's interesting is seriously, there were no building evacuations, business as usual. They had the street roped off around the building. Yeah, but the people were so close because we were inside a building looking out through a big plate glass window and filming this for you. And uh, the people down, down below us were much closer to the building. I mean, God, they were, I, I was amazed that they allowed them to be that close. Yeah. So real quick, um, we were using a, um, a Sony uh, TRV-22 camcorder, digital camcorder, uh, to do the video. And if you go to our show notes site, we'll point you to uh, some stills that we took, which uh, there were some really good stills. And Adele took uh, what I think are two of the best shots in there. Yeah, a couple of them. But you know what? Uh, and the Klaus Construction uh, got th $3 million for this demolition. Bully for them. I wonder what their it was overhead for, was. It was. It was all for brooms because, boy, the cleanup's going to be yeah, something. Yeah, they have brooms are in there, guys pushing their brooms, trying to get the dust out of the way. I just want to go over the equipment real quick go before we have to go here. Two still cameras were used, uh, a Sony F828 um, for its fast action and ability, ability to zoom back and forth. And then uh, we put a medium telephoto lens on an Olympus Evolt 500, which we're just getting used to now. And that, by the way, was the one that took what I think are the two most stellar that's shots the one of I the was day. Using. Yeah, that's the one I was yeah. using. She, I mean, Adele just did a great job. Oh, well, the camera really did it, but thank well, you, thank you. Interesting thank you. thing when all this, because these cameras had the autofocus, it was so funny. All of a sudden she goes, uh, I hate to tell you this, but something's going on over here. And I go over there and the power is turned off. So we turn it back on, of course. Oh, the camera. It wouldn't work. It just, and then we looked out the window, it was just all smoke and debris. It had it nothing to focus. It was nothing to focus on. The, the lens was just going in and out, yeah. in and out. And finally, it just says, you know what? It's like we're, freaking out on we me. We can't do this, dude. <laughs> but that wasn't until most of the excitement had gone. So, um, anyway, real quick. We uh, got it back on and I got more pictures. So, we got a. Um, Wrap up quick here. It's about to go. Um, we want you to check back next week for the next audio edition of the Loose End Show. Mm -hmm. um, be cool and check out the Cafe Press from our site for Loose Ends t-shirts, mugs, bags, and more. Right, and thanks to our sponsor, www.wingstolove.com. Check them out, please, and email us, if you would. At looseendsshow at gmail.com. Yeah, tell us how you like the implosion. Yeah, yeah, and pass it around. Yeah, we love you. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Enjoy.